Over 2,000 years ago, ancient Chinese scholars observed the changing patterns in our natural world, the climate, the turning of the seasons, and astronomy. The scholars measured and divided the sun's annual movements into 24 equal parts, creating the 24 solar terms, which were used to govern agriculture in ancient China. Even to this day, this invention still guides the lives and traditions of hundreds of millions of Chinese people. Every year, around November 22nd, the light snow solar term comes. Chinese farmers like snow. Snow during the light snow season means a good harvest and abundant production in the following year. In this snow is the crystallization of a thousand years of experience. The light snow solar term has arrived. Northern China may have been frozen solid for a while now, but right down at the southern edge of China, the rice has only just been harvested. For one of China's oldest ethnic groups, known as the Miao, this is when they get to celebrate New Year. It's the light snow season for some, but it's party time for the Miao. Fifty-six state-recognized ethnic groups live in China. Each group has its own unique traditions. The Miao are the fourth largest group by population. They have their own language, but has never been written down. The survival of their customs relies on stories passed generation to generation at times like this. This Miao village's rice crop has just been brought in. There's no one left hanging about in the fields. People are getting ready for the best moment of the year when they can all go out and celebrate the year's harvest. This young villager Xiaohu fishes in the fields recently vacated by the rice. He's fishing for a kind of carp that has lived in the rice paddies since ancient times. The field fish, as it is known here, looks stunning, with bright colors, and it tastes delicious. Even scales are soft enough to be eaten. It may be much warmer than in the north, but the water temperature is still pretty chilly at around five degrees Celsius. Come on, fish. <laughs> China was the first country in the world to breed freshwater fish. As early as 3,000 years ago, the Chinese began raising fish in ponds. Using the rice fields to keep them captive, these fish have kept pests and weeds to a minimum for 2,000 years. Their manure has enriched the soil too. This is how to max out your rice yields. Plus, you get to eat the fish after. Xiao Hu has just called himself a tasty New Year's Eve dinner. While Xiao Hu fishes out in the paddies, his mother gets preparing to hit the town. Huh? Buying everything else for the New Year's Eve meal is a job for mum. The Miao people have been farmers forever. 
As early as 6,000 years ago, they mastered the use of a special ingredient, the chili pepper. Absolutely everything has been doused in them. The light snow season sees the temperature drop sharply. The air turns crisp and dry. In the Chinese countryside, people wait for the light snow season before starting to make homemade sausages and smoked bacon. Pork dunked in sauteed pepper and salt, marinated for half a month. Hung from the beams, smoked from underneath by cypress twigs. You have to make sure that the smoke is evenly spread. The goal is for it to go dark red. Then you know the flavor will have really sunk in. Chinese people have always smoked meat to preserve it. More than 2,500 years ago, Confucius even accepted bacon for lessons. Send me 10 strips of smoked bacon and I will teach you, he said. So his students did exactly that. It's the eve of the Miao's New Year. Never mind those gurgling stomachs. Making an offering to the ancestors is on top of the list. They thank the clan for their blessings, the good fortune that has helped them bring in a decent harvest. The New Year's Eve is a feast for the family, and tomorrow's Miao Festival is a coming together of the whole clan. The Leishan County in Guizhou province is one of the main settlements of the Miao people. Traditions at New Year have been passed down for thousands of years, strange and magnificent. Beautiful girls wearing silver horns are filling the square, attracting everyone's attention. Silver ornaments are 100% essential at the Leishan New Year. A Miao girl here can wear anything from 10 to 15 kilograms of silver. The way they see it, if a girl does not have a set of silver jewelry, she can't even consider getting married. If a young man doesn't know how to craft silver, he has no way to make it in Leishan. The locals tell me these extremely delicate patterns are all handcrafted by Miao silversmiths. Xiaohu's father, Long Taiyang, is a Miao silversmith. Every year, during the light snow season, Miao farmers have little to do. But for Long Taiyang, 
this is absolutely the busiest time of year. People around the village rush to buy or repair their silver before getting decked out for the new year. Making filigree is what Long Taiyang does best. It's one of the most basic steps, but also one of the hardest. He has to turn bars of silver into silver string as fine as hair. This special silver drawing plate, 52 eyes of different diameters. The silver strip must pass through all 52 in turn until it finally equals the diameter of a human hair. <笑>对就往上抽抽到腰子抽到你腰子温子就会一次性就过来了一次性过来一次性对还要不要再来不要不要不要这种方式感觉挺费劲的就是自古以来就是这种方式熟了之后花式工艺都是这么干出来的从早
While Gumas are carrying gifts for their families, their husbands have to keep up the tempo, playing their reed pipes the length of the street. This festival is in the hands of the women. To welcome the Gulmars and their husbands back to the village for New Year are their family members who have stayed home and are super busy. Steam is coming out of every kitchen. This year's glutinous rice has been well soaked in preparation. Out come the wooden steamers in which the glutinous rice will be cooked before being bashed by hammers and turned into a meow speciality. Ziba, sticky sweet rice cakes. This tasty snack is made especially for the new year and represents a good harvest at the light snow season. It looks as though the Gumas might be close by. The families run out and they man their drinking stations. The homecomers must pass by 12 of these places and at each one have one cup of rice wine. Only after downing all 12 bowls can the Gumas and their husbands each go to their own homes. After drinking up rice wine, laid on the way as long as one kilometer, the Gumas are finally reunited with their loved ones who they haven't seen for a year. Everyone gathers in the village square, dancing the Lusheng hot flower dance, making the Tsiba rice cakes, eating at long tables. I've never seen anything quite like this Miao New Year feast. It may only be on this day that you will see such particular customs in full swing. The warmest of atmosphere and the most unique Miao's New Year. The 24 solar terms, which were created in a distant past to guide the farmers of China, have turned out to affect every aspect of Chinese life. Each solar term is implied in rich, multi-layered Chinese cultural events and traditions, and holds a wisdom that has been maintained for thousands of years.